Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, crack the combination on one of these combination master locks. Now there's a couple of different ways of getting in um, by picking the lock. Um, and it only takes a few seconds, but you don't get the combination of the lock. This is how you can uh, solve the combination. And if you just tried trial and error, um, there's over 64,000 different combinations. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to narrow it down to just 100 that you can crack in just a few minutes. Now, the first step to this is, uh, <coughs> is you put it to zero, and then by holding tension here, you move it to the first number where it locks. And if you notice, it's, uh, it catches between 3 and 4. And so, the first number I'm going to do is 3.5, because it's halfway through. Um, and after we have that number, go to the next one. And as you can see, it's halfway in between 6 and 7. And so the next number is going to be 6.5. And you do this all the way around until you've gotten to the end. And uh, this third one, it's it locks up in between nine and a half and ten and a half and so our number is going to be ten and it's important to keep track of these numbers um, I did this earlier with uh, I just bought this brand new lock and I never looked at the combination um, and so I already went through and did this after ten I got fourteen point five sixteen point five twenty twenty three point five 27, 30, 33.5, 36.5, and 0. And if you, if you notice, there are going to be 5 whole numbers. And in this case, my lock gave me 10, 20, 27, 30, and zero. And now notice four out of five of them end in a zero. And you're going to find this <coughs> on whatever lock you use. And so the odd number out that I have is 27. And that is going to be my third number in the combination. So we've already found one of our numbers, and that's the last digit. Uh, so now what you do is you take that number, 27, and divide it by four. And you get six, remainder three. And it's important to know the remainder because that number is what we'll be using here. So you take that number, which is three, and you start with three on the lock and write down all the numbers. So put three down and then add four to it and go all the way around the lock. And so you come up with 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, 27, 31, 35, and 39. Now these are going to be possibilities of your first number. And how we get the second number is if we use our remainder again, which mine is 3, um, there's a certain code. If your remainder, if you don't have a remainder, then use the number 2. If you have a remainder of 1, use 3. 2, use 0. And 3, use 1. So if it's 0 or 1, you add 2 to the digit. And if it's 2 or 3, you minus 2 from that digit. And so, since mine is 3, I'm going to use 1. And then just do the same thing. Um, add 4 to your number, and then go all the way down the list. So I'm going to end up with 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, 33, and 37. And these are going to be a list of your second number and the third number 
we already know is going to be 27. And so from here, it's just trial and error. Start with 3, 1, 27. See if it works. 3, 5, 27. 3, 13, 27. And then go down the list, and then with 7, 11, 15, and so on. And eventually you will get the combination. In my case, I ended up with 15, 37, and 27. Those were the numbers that opened my lock here. 15. Thirty-seven and twenty-seven, and there you go. You just crack the combination to the lock.